Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Now, it's been 19 years since the first hearings of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The commission was set up by uh, former President Nelson Mandela to help deal with the atrocities that happened under apartheid. To reflect on its establishment and accomplishments, we are now joined by Professor Leon Vessels, who was a commissioner in the TRC. Prof, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Perhaps for context and background uh, purposes, Tell us what was the mandate of the TRC, because the follow-up question will be, did you receive that or, or, or did you fulfill that objective? So what was the mandate and do you believe that you achieved it? Uh, let me hasten to say quickly that I served on the Human Rights Commission and not the, uh, the Commission for Reconciliation, mm -hmm. Truth and Reconciliation. The Commission for Truth and Reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, I do beg your uh, pardon, Professor. No, but I did appear before that commission and I made evidence before that com commission. Uh, what was exciting about the time was that South Africa wanted to understand its history. It furthermore had to deal with the atrocities of the past and also to make the necessary reparation, uh, reparations whenever it was, was uh, claims were made to them. So in that sense, it was partially successful. Uh, and that was the genesis of the commission. If you, however, project into the future, you must conclude that still a lot of unfinished business. Let's touch on that unfinished business. A lot of people lamenting the fact that while it was very therapeutic to have uh, some of the perpetrators of apartheid atrocities come forward and apologize in part or uh, claim that this is what I've done, etc., a lot of unanswered questions and perhaps truths that will never be discovered. Uh, I don't think that is absolutely correct. It was partially success successful. Um, but one must also understand that the Commission had a very tight timeline. Dealing with its, its mandate within the time frames was, was almost impossible. So the question is how did we deal with the report and the events that followed on the Truth and, Re and Reconciliation Commission. Hmm. Just that is the challenge that we are facing right hmm. now as we project ourselves into the next 19 years. Do you think it's necessary perhaps to have a TRC take 2, 2.0? Is it necessary in this point of our democracy, do you think? I would not argue for a TRC 2. I would, however, argue that the past will not let us be in peace if we de do not deal with it properly. It is clear what the outstanding issues are. We have to square up to them and deal with them. How would you propose we deal with them? Well, first of all, I would understand and try to understand that victims of human rights violations need to find closure. If prosecution is not a complete answer, you have to mobilize those that are still alive with information to help them and assist them to find closure. Secondly, there were expectations of reparations. Those individuals have to be met and many of them asked for simple things, such as education for their children, uh, the loved ones be remembered. All those issues have to be there, dealt with. And furthermore, we still grapple to write a complete, inclusive history of our nation. Prof, as briefly as possible, is there anything worth celebrating 19 years after the TRC? Well, there is a celebration, the fact that the TRC contributed to the peaceful transi transition, 
However, we have to square up to the challenges we are facing now. And many of them have their genesis in the past. We'll have to leave it there at least for now. Thank you so much uh, for your time, Professor Leon Vessels. And uh, just correcting me there that he was uh, part of the Human Rights Commission at the time, but he did make a contribution to the TRC 19 years on. Right, we'll leave it there at least for now. More uh, issues up to be tackled or coming up in just a moment. Uh, do